Good morning, everybody. Kurt Risch here, and thanks for joining me on The One Shepherd. Today, we are continuing with our Old Testament reading of Exodus chapter 23. You shall not circulate a false report. Do not put your hand with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness. You shall not follow a crowd to do evil, nor shall you testify in a dispute so as to turn aside after many to pervert justice. You shall not show partiality to a poor man in his dispute. If you meet your enemy's ox or his donkey going astray, you shall surely bring it back to him again. If you see the donkey of one who hates you lying under its burden, and you would refrain from helping it, you shall surely help him with it. You shall not pervert the judgment of your poor in his dispute. Keep yourself far from a false matter. Do not kill the innocent and righteous, for I will not justify the wicked. And you shall take no bribe, for a bribe blinds the discerning and perverts the words of the righteous. Also, you shall not oppress a stranger, for you know the heart of a stranger, because you were strangers in the land of Egypt. Six years you shall sow your land and gather in its produce, but the seventh year you shall let it rest and lie fallow, that the poor of your people may eat, and what they leave the beasts of the field may eat. In like manner you shall do with your vineyard and your olive grove. Six days you shall do your work, and on the seventh day you shall rest, that your ox and your donkey may rest, and the son of your female servant and the stranger may be refreshed. And in all that I have said to you, be circumspect, and make no mention of the name of other gods, nor let it be heard from your mouth. Three times you shall keep a feast to me in the year. You shall keep the feast of unleavened bread, You shall eat unleavened bread seven days, as I commanded you, at the time appointed in the month of Abib. For in it you came out of Egypt, none shall appear before me empty. And the feast of the harvest, the first fruits of your labors, which you have sown in the field, and the feast of ingathering at the end of the year, when you have gathered in the fruit of your labors from the field. Three times in a year all your males shall appear before the Lord God. So we have a word study here. Uh, It is a word used for Lord God, which the Hebrew word is Adane, also said, uh, pronounced Yahweh. Uh, This is Strong's Concordance number 113 and 3068. This rare description of God links the title Adane, meaning Lord or Master, with God's personal name, Yahweh. The title Lord speaks of God's unlimited power and authority, just as a master has unlimited power over a slave. On the other hand, God's personal name, Yahweh, invokes his merciful and righteous character. Yahweh is spelled with four consonants in Hebrew. The Jews do not pronounce this sacred name and instead read Adonai, wherever the name occurs in scripture. Its precise meaning and pronunciation is unknown. Most most probably the name Yahweh is derived from the Hebrew word to be, and means, I am who I am. You shall not offer the blood, so we're continuing on verse 18, guys. You shall not offer the blood of my sacrifice with leavened bread, nor shall the fat of my sacrifice remain until morning. The first of the fruits of your hand or your land you shall bring into the house of the Lord your God. You shall not boil a young goat in its mother's milk. Behold, I send an angel before you to keep you in the way and to bring you in the place which I have prepared. Beware of him and obey his voice. Do not provoke him, for he will not pardon your transgressions, for my name is in him. But if you indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, Then I will be an enemy to your enemies, and an adversary to your adversaries. For my angel will go before you, and bring you in to the Amorites, and the Hittites, and the Perizzites, and the Canaanites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, and I will cut them off. You shall not bow down to their gods, nor serve them, nor do according to their works, but you shall utterly overthrow them, and completely break down their sacred pillars." So you shall serve the Lord your God, and he will bless your bread and your water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of you. No one shall suffer miscarriage or be barren in your land. I will fulfill the number of your days. 
I will send my fear before you. I will cause confusion among all the people to whom you come, and will make all your enemies turn their backs to you. And I will send hornets before you, which shall drive out the Hivite, the Canaanite, and the Hittite from before you. I will not drive them out from before you in one year, lest the land become desolate and the beasts of the field become too numerous for you. Little by little I will drive them out from before you, until you have increased and you inherit the land. Then I will set your bounds from the Red Sea to the Sea Philistia, and from the desert to the river. For I will deliver the inhabitants of the land into your hand, and you shall drive them out before you. You shall make no covenant with them, nor their gods. They shall not dwell in your land, lest they make you sin against me. For if you serve their gods, it will surely be a snare to you. Guys, that's it for our Old Testament reading of Exodus chapter 23. Uh, Thanks for joining us. Be sure to join us again tomorrow as we continue our reading of the Old Testament scripture of Exodus. Also, be sure to like and subscribe below as that uh, gets the YouTube algorithm to share out our scripture readings to even more people. If you have any comments, questions, put them below. In the meantime, may you have a great day and God bless.